Hey everybody, welcome to Trials and Error Cooking with Linda and Dwight. I'm Linda, Dwight's behind the camera today, and we're here today because Dwight's cousin Wendy suggested that we do some more cooking videos. So what I've got prepared today is a sheet pan shrimp boil, and Dwight's going to pan down and show you all of the ingredients that we're going to use today. Very, very simple. I have pre-cooked for about 15 minutes um, a one pound package of the Baby Dutch yellow potatoes, and this is about four ears of corn, which we chopped up, and I put the corn pieces in during the last five minutes of the cooking process. This wonderful seasoning that we have together is a quarter cup of unsalted butter with uh, four cloves of minced garlic, and I put in one tablespoon of the Old Bay seasoning. I have a one pound of medium shrimp, which has been deveined and already peeled. I just went to the seafood market and got this. A pound of, um, now it calls for andouille sausage, I don't like that kind of sausage, so I just have beef sausage, which is good enough for me, and then later on we'll be adding the parsley and the lemon. I have pre-sprayed the cooking sheets with just some original Crisco spray. So what I've already done is I preheated the oven to about 400 degrees, and we're just going to simply start layering got two out just in case. Something for dinner, something for lunch. Just kind of mix it all up. Put our shrimp. I'm just going to space it out so it does have room to cook because the shrimp is not yet cooked. I set it out so that it would um, not be too ice cold when I put it in the refrigerator. makes a wonderful afternoon snack. It would be great if we were camping and could do this in foil packets, I think, over an open flame, over the barbecue pit. However you want to mix it up on there. I probably could get it all onto one, but this one looks a little bit full. And then all I'm going to do is spoon some seasoning over the top of the pan. I'm just going to stir that up a little bit, and as soon as I get it stirred up a little bit, I'm going to put it in the oven on about 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll be back as soon as this is done cooking and show you what it looks like. So this is all mixed up. I went ahead and used my hands. I mixed it all up so it is nicely coated in that wonderful seasoning with the Old Bay seasoning, the garlic, and the uh, butter. You know, I don't want to put this to waste. I'm going to put the last few drops on top. But I mixed it up very well, and now I'm going to be placing it in the oven for about 20 minutes. And wish you were here to join us because it already smells great, even though it's not cooked. So we'll be back in a few minutes to show you the end product. The top one is my lunch, and the bottom one is Dwight's lunch. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Not. <laughs> well, here we have our finished product of our sheet pan shrimp boil. It smells fabulous, and I'm getting hungry just holding it. I've added some lemon wedge and some parsley to it, and I think it's about time to eat. What do you think, Dwight? Yes, if you would hurry up, we can go eat. Okay. You heard it. Let's go eat. I've barely touched mine. I'm still working on it. Uh oh. Let me tell you what. This is definitely a top two of Linda's cooking trials and errors. It's good.
a guarantee. <laughs> uh, can I help you? Shotzi, get your face off. <laughs> okay. So we hope you guys enjoyed as much as Dwight did for sure. Almost gone. Mmm.